Amanda and I'm finally back. I know it's been ages since I've posted a video and I've got a range of excuses. Everything from the fact that I've just had finals at uni to the fact that my internet connection has been really really crappy. So hopefully I'll be able to get this video up soon but that would require an internet connection that would stay steady for more than two minutes which might be tricky so hopefully I'll be able to get a few more videos out I just need to pray to the internet gods at the moment. As I said in my last video I've been on a book buying ban and I'm proud to say I've only broken it once which is actually quite impressive for me um, but that means that for the most part with the exception of library books I'm stuck reading the books that I've already got which considering how many books I've got and how many of these books have been unread by me so far that shouldn't be such a problem. Um, so I'm going to be looking at today 10 books that Booktube loves that I haven't read yet. The first book that I've got, I haven't had for all that long, it was only published for the first time in September, so I don't feel that bad about not having read it yet, and that is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I know Caddy Tastic loved this book, and I then heard so many great things about this from everyone else. Mostly this book has been put aside because I've got so many vampire books that I want to read and I keep thinking of this as just another vampire book no matter how many times I'm told it's just that a little bit different. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I usually agree pretty much with what Caddy Tastic likes. I bought this book on her recommendation and I can't wait to read it. The second book on this list is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Everyone was raving about this about two or three weeks around Halloween and then after that they all just sort of stopped. Um, because I don't celebrate Halloween I didn't feel any real rush to read this book then and so I've sort of been left behind and it's sort of been buried under other books in my to be read pile. Um, that being said this book has pictures in it which I love. I'm really loving picture books at the moment and I've never read a monster book before I don't think. So I'm really interested in seeing how this monster character works. The third book on this list has been talked about by pretty much every booktuber at least once and that is Alexander Bracken's The Darkest Minds. Yeah, I haven't actually read this one yet. I was putting it on hold because I wanted to wait till I could get Neverfade but then I saw the cover for Neverfade um, for the Australian covers and it didn't really match so now I'm wanting to buy the hardbacks but I need to read it before I decide whether I'm going to spend that much money on this series. I've heard nothing but great things about this series. This book might actually be more shocking to be on this list than the last one, maybe, and that is Rick Yancey's The Fifth Wave. I know many people have said this is their favourite book of the year, that they can't wait for the sequel, that it's amazing, and I'm sitting here with it on my shelf for a couple of months and I haven't read it yet. I saw this one in my local bookstore before I heard of any of the hype and it was got sort of placed on my maybe pile and then when I heard about all the hype it was getting I went and bought it and then as it got more and more hype I just started wondering if it was going to be able to live up to my expectations and it sort of just gets put off because I'm worried that I'm not going to like it as much as everyone else. When books get really really hyped I go into them with really high expectations and usually they don't quite live up to it. But that being said, this one is meant to be really, really good, so I'm really wanting to get into it. The next book that I've got is Victoria Schwab's The Archived. I know Jessie the Reader loved this book, as well as pretty much everyone else. Um, the main reason I got this book was I was seeing it all the time on the bookshelf scavenger hunt, which I had a real weird obsession with watching for a while there, and everyone was always picking up this book. I was really curious about it. I think the cover's just gorgeous and when I looked into the premise it sounds really really good so I already have pre-ordered The Unbound which is the second book in this series and I'm just hearing such great things about it so right near the top of my list. Um, the next book is technically a little bit cheating because I finished reading it last night but I planned this list beforehand and I can't be bothered trying to find another book to add to it and that is Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. This book centers around time travel and I know a lot of people are reading this at the moment. Um, the last book Emerald Green just came out so that's why I started reading this because I finally had all three books in the series and I'm really really enjoying it. I'm reading Sapphire Blue at the moment and it's quite good. The next book was published in 2011 which makes it kind of like an older hyped book. Um, I sort of came to booktube after this book had had its hype so it's not 
quite as hyped now but I still see so many people pull this book off for tags and top fives and it made me really really curious as to see what it was all about um, and that is Libra Bray's Beauty Queens. I've read about the first 30 pages at one point and then decided that I was more in the mood for a paranormal or a fantasy rather than a contemporary so I ended up putting it back down but I really did love those first couple of pages so I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, I'm not sure when I'll get to this book but we'll see. Okay the only other contemporary on this list um, will probably surprise a fair few people that I haven't read it yet and that is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I am really wanting to read this book. I really enjoyed her other two books that I've read and I'm excited for Landline which is coming out soon as well. Um, this was the first real book, this is the first book of hers that really got any hype and it just blasted Rainbow Rowell into this completely different stratosphere when it came to her writing. Um, I hadn't heard about her before and then all of a sudden I was hearing that all the books she was bringing out. So. I can't wait to get into this one. I have heard a few mixed reviews about it, but considering how much I love fangirl and even attachments, I think I'll like this one a fair bit. The next book on this list I've sort of been seeing around a fair bit. It is a fantasy book that takes place in Russia, and yep, you guessed it, that is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardovko. I know a lot of people who like fantasy are saying this is a really, really good series, and I've bought both this and it's the second book in the series Siege and Storm and I'm really looking forward to getting into this. The last book I'm not really concerned about the fact that I haven't read it yet because I only got it about two weeks ago um, and that's because I was waiting for the box set to be available and that is Legend by Mary Lou. I've been really looking forward to reading this series um, and I love these covers. They're absolutely gorgeous. I've heard such great things about this series and I've been looking for a good dystopian action type book so I think I might be thinking into this next. So as I said I'll be looking through these books and trying to read a few of them this month. Let me know down in the comments which ones you've read and which ones you've enjoyed so I can make this decision a little bit easier because I don't think I'll get through all 10 especially considering that some of them are part of a series and I will read the whole series I've got when I read them. Um, but yeah so Hopefully I'll have some more videos up soon. If nothing else, I hope it will be less than three weeks this time. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I've already pre-ordered the second book, The Unbound. Long live the king. Mufasa. Woo!